Hi guys, my name is Nkululego Ongoks and welcome to my channel. Hi guys, thank you for tuning in onto my channel. My name is Nkululego, surname is Dambuza and uh, you can just call me Ngoks for short, that is my nickname. Thank you for tuning on to my channel, much, much appreciated. Please do subscribe, like, comment, you know, um, that really will give me a boost as I am starting this out for the first time. Well, actually not the first time. I did try to kick off my channel uh, sometime last year. Uh, some of you might have seen the earlier video that I posted and uh, at that time it wasn't really aligning with what I wanted to do. So uh, I had to take that one out and scrap it, start afresh. So this is the official first video that I will publish and put out. And uh, from there, you can just expect a bit more. So thank you, thank you for tuning, thank you for your support. Hopefully you can stay tuned, stay entertained. Please do share the word, you know, I'm trying to grow a, a good family, yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, as, my, as some of you might have seen who follows me on Instagram or have my number on WhatsApp, I posted a story um, saying that I will be posting this video and will be a get to know me tag. So I uh, just asked a few people to pose questions on what they would like to know about me. I have gotten a few responses on both platforms and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I selected 15 questions. Um, so just not to, to drag this video out much longer than what it needs to be. Just a little bit of summary of me and who I am and uh, hopefully you enjoy, okay? So let's get started with the questions. So the first question that we have here, where are you from? Right, so um, originally I am from the Eastern Cape, Ndazalalum Tata. I was born in a town called Mtata. It is in the Eastern Cape. This fly is bothering me. Anyway, um, I spent some uh, time there. Uh, it was very, I was very young at that time. Um, I only spent about three years, so I don't really remember that much. Um, but most of my life I grew up in Margate, KZN, that's a very small town on the south coast of KZN, very beautiful. Um, yeah, so I would say that I am from Margate, but I was birthed in the Eastern Cape, okay? So next question, why are you starting a YouTube channel, right? Why not? <laughs> but it, you did this for what? Why not? Why? Why not? Um, on the real though, uh, it's it's something that I've always wanted to do uh, because I am a very visual person. I love film, I love uh, videography, I love everything that is visual, you know. So um, also producing that kind of content. So I want to be like an entertainer in that sense. Um, I want to share my ideas. I always have ideas in my head that I want to portray. So I want to use this platform to do that, you know, uh, just show my talents a bit and, uh, you know, just uh, just get my ideas out there, get what people think about it, you know, entertain people as well. That's, that's kind of the personality that I am, All right? So why did you study what you studied? Okay, so for those of you who know, I studied at AFTA. I graduated in uh, film editing. Um, that was in 2017 when I graduated, yeah. So uh, why I studied that is, um, as I said in the previous question, I love film, I love everything to do with film, I love series, you know, I love everything visual. Um, so initially I wanted to be an actor um, because that's where I first got exposed into it with drama at high school. Uh, so I did want to go into acting, but then when I got to after the reality of it is that the, the acting community is quite populated and there is a lot of competition. It's very cutthroat. Um, so I decided to put the brakes on that and actually go behind the scenes. So then I ventured into editing and I actually found that, yeah, this was actually pretty cool because I, I like anything to do with computer as well. So to create um content like that literally as the editor you could make or break a film like it's it's really that simple um so i i like having that kind of um i, I wouldn't say power <laughs> but you know like that kind of good pressure you know um i really do like that and um you know just bringing things together and besides after 
where else would you have gone? So besides after, where else would I have gone? I think I would have gone to UJ. Um, I would have studied something completely different. Uh, I've always been fascinated by the human body as well. So I think I would have gone to uh, do physiotherapy. Um, I know that UJ has a very good uh, physio program there. If not UJ, then I probably would have gone to VITS. But anyway, here in Gauteng, you know, um, I wouldn't have ideally wanted to study in Durban because it's so close to home and I'd spend my whole life there. I've got sea feet. Um, I, I just know the coast too well. So I figured, you know, let me try something else. Let me try something new. I'd never been to Joburg. So regardless, whichever of the two UJ or VITS, I might have gone to either one of those um, to study physiotherapy. Why did you slack in rugby? <laughs> so obviously that's posed by a person who, who actually does know me um, and who's actually come and watch uh, a few of my rugby games. Uh, so the reason why I slacked is I don't think that I was, I was in it anymore. Um, if, you, if you go way back with me, um, I'm talking about like primary, like grade six and grade seven, uh, I was quite a beast. If, if you played with me or if you watched me play back then, I was quite a beast. I was, uh, I was quite on the come up. Uh, even won rugby player of the year then. And uh, it kind of fell off for me because I went to a different school than a lot of my peers. Um, a lot of my friends went to Sheppey um, and I went to this other school in Peter Maritzburg. So the first mess up with me there is that they did not have rugby. So that whole year, um, that I spent in that school was a whole year of not playing rugby, not even holding a rugby ball. The only sport they had was soccer, and obviously I wasn't that good in soccer. So, um, you know, I kind of lost my feet there. I lost the love of the game a bit. And then the following two years, I moved back to the coast, and uh, the school that I went there did accommodate rugby, but it, it wasn't that great. Um, it wasn't a big priority. So it was a thing of, I don't, I don't want to seem egotistic in saying this, but it was like a thing of I was one of the best players there, playing with guys who weren't, you know, committed. You know, they didn't have the spirit, they didn't have the fire. So I was pretty much steering a sinking ship in a sense. Um, and unfortunately, as the captain, you go down with the ship, you know. So it gradually went, it gradually went. The school that I finally matriculated in, it was a bit better, the spirit was there, but I feel like I came off the bat of, you know, being drained and not loving the game anymore. So it was just a downhill from there. Um, it, my form picked up a bit in, her, in her, um, that law school, but it just wasn't what I used to be or what the potential of what I could have been was. And then I picked up an injury, unfortunately, on my ankle, a recurring injury, so I couldn't play rugby at my highest intensity anymore until eventually I decided, you know what, um, I'm hanging up my boots. <laughs> this is not for me anymore. <laughs> I'm getting old. Uh, what is your favorite soccer team? My favorite soccer team? Oh, you know, whoever knows me knows. Los Blancos, El Galacticos. It's my boys, Real Madrid. Real Madrid are my absolute favorite. Uh, Carmelo Highwater, you know, I'm a Dowd fan. I've never always been a, a soccer fan. I feel like, in my opinion, I jumped on the soccer bandwagon quite late. Um, as opposed to a lot of my other friends and peers. So I only started really following soccer after the 2010 World Cup, which we hosted. Uh, before that, I didn't really like it. I wasn't fascinated by it. The only kind of sports that I used to watch as a kid growing up was wrestling, uh, occasional rugby games, and uh, like whatever my grandfather used to watch, you know. Um, so the team that I saw after that World Cup, because um, obviously Spain won that, that World Cup, and if you were watching at that time, you would know that the Spanish team was compromised of half Barcelona, half Real Madrid, like, and then a few stragglers in between in other teams. So I watched those two teams play and I was like, no wait, actually I do like Real Madrid. And that was the golden era of Real Madrid. We still had Ricardo Kaká at that time. We had Mesut Ozil. There was the beautiful combination that was Higuain and Benzema. So that was, that, that was the time to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> For Real Madrid fans, that was the time to be alive. When was your first kiss? 
Uh, that's a funny thing because my, my first kiss was actually quite a spectacle. Um, so it was in grade seven, that was 2008. Um, and it was it was a weird one because like our whole grade seven class was there. It was it wasn't in school. It was out of school. It was at the library, um, a walkable distance from our school. And uh, my then uh, girlfriend, it was like the dream match up uh, by the whole grade seven uh, class or grade rather. So finally, we linked up. We talked. We talked. We talked. And then you know it just happened, we kissed and like everyone just came and swarmed us and we were like cheering like, yeah, 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 yeah. like what the fuck is going on? But you know, we're kids, you know, uh, we're not exposed to these kind of things. So that was wild, that was, yeah, that was my first kiss uh, <laughs> Alright, um, how many relationships have you been in? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. So uh, if I have to count, um, I won't mention any names, there's that one, that one, hmm, 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 okay. So I would say before my current relationship, um, there's been four relationships that I've been in that I could take seriously and say that they were re relationships. Um, and then the one that I'm currently in is number five, uh, my fifth and final, <laughs> right? Um, so yes, that is five relationships that I've been in. What is your longest relationship? So my longest relationship is my current relationship. We are pushing three years strong now. Uh, we had our third year anniversary in April. Um, last month was April, 7th, April 16th. Um, so yeah, we're pushing three years, this is my longest, and as I am saying again, it is my last. <laughs> Who is your favorite sister? Hmm. Okay, so uh, this is also a question posed by someone who actually does know me um, quite well. Uh, so if, uh, if you don't know, uh, I am an only child, so I don't have any siblings. I've got plenty of cousins though, uh, but no direct siblings from my mother. I am the only one who, who popped out. Um, so. I've built quite good friendships with a lot of my, my friends of the opposite gender um, and uh, a few of them I can even call my sisters because I am very close with them uh, and this is a very tricky question because <laughs> I don't want anyone to get in their feels like you know I really do care about my friends I care about um, all of you guys you know my day ones and all of that I know we might not talk on a daily basis and everything but I mean whenever we do link up it's lit like you won't even realize that you know we've actually haven't spoken in so long like we just rekindle the friendship and it's and it's it's fire you know it's fire from from whenever we meet but um, if I had to cut and say okay here is my favorite the thing is I can't distinguish between these two because um, they they they're people that I can literally talk to about anything like anything and everything like we can talk about anime to movies to series to real life shit to fake things to you know like anything there's never a dull moment like so the two that i would say i can't pick one from from the two sorry um would be the first one would be lisi um it's a very close friend of mine we read we only met in 2014 but like our friendship was solid from that day one um, and you know there's never been a dull day since um, so she would be one and my other um, sister is Fuyo, Fuyo Machek. Um yeah that is that one we also go way back like way 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 back um, and we have chats about anything and everything and you know it's never awkward it's never strange it's never um anything boring you know like it's 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 fun times it's fun times it's fun chat so those are my two i can't pick one over the other i'm sorry <laughs> all right um are you okay with your girl having guy friends um so yeah that is quite a, a hot topic <laughs> it's uh one that's circling around quite a lot um so you know just basing it off of what i previously answered uh it it really it's really something that i'm chilled with because especially if it's friends that she's had like before 
me like before i was ever in the picture like friends that are have been around longer than our relationship you know i can't have beef with that um because if she wanted to do anything with those guys like she would have done it then you know um so I, something i don't personally feel threatened by it's something that i'm chilled with because i've met majority of them um i couldn't meet all of them because of uh, probably time clashing or ge the geography of where we are you know uh, but for those that I've met, like I can see how they are together, you know, it's just a genuine friendship and like I'm very chilled with it because as, as much as that is the case, I also have my female friends, the people that I grew up with, uh, some people that, you know, have helped me in a lot of situations and to shape like the kind of guy that I am today. So obviously I wouldn't also want her to feel some type of way about those people because those are friendships that I don't want to cut and obviously she has genuine friendships that she doesn't want to cut. The only time I, I have some questions is when there's new guy friends popping into the picture, you know, because you never know what the intentions are, you know, because like us as gents, you know, we're very sly, we're very slick. Um, it will always be a thing of, oh, you got a man, uh, but what can he offer you? I can do this for you, I can do that for you. You know, they they, they out here being construction workers with bricks. <laughs> So yeah, you know, you can't really trust the intentions, but I trust my woman 101%, you know, she'd always tell me that, okay, John Osman man is, is saying these things now, he's texting me at this time, he's calling me at these kind of hours, asking me if you're here or not, you know, and like we discuss those kind of things all the time, like I also tell her if, if girls are being overly flirtatious with me, um, you know, uh, and we just have that kind of relationship of trust, you know, so it's not something that, that threatens me at all. Um, and I'm 100% chilled with that. Are you working? If so, where? Um, I am working full time as a sales consultant. I work at uh, Hippo Advisory Services um, that is under the Auto in General Park in uh, Danefun, Johannesburg. Um, yeah, I've been working there since 2018, October 2018, uh, up until now, I am still currently working there, even with lockdown. I am working from home, so uh, I'm very fortunate in that case that I can still work, I can, I still do have a chance of making a full salary. Um, so yeah, uh, that is where I'm at. I love the culture there, I love the space there, I love the location. It's amazing. What is your star sign? My star sign, I am an Aries. Um, I'm born in March 31st. Um, if I didn't mention before, I'm 25, uh, born in 1995. So yeah, I'm 25 years of age. That is my star sign. Would you go back to any of your exes? <laughs> nah, <laughs> it, it, it has to be a solid no. Um, not because they're like bad people or anything you know um not at all you know like they in their rights they're all they're all good people you know um i just would say that they're not good for me personally um so with all of that i i, I wouldn't i wouldn't go back to any of my exes um, at all i like i wouldn't mind us being friends uh obviously not that close of friends uh, more of acquaintances if i could say uh, but definitely not go back into a relationship now because we just don't align um, emotionally or physically or whatever it might have been at the time which is the reason why we broke up and I think that is the reason why we would stay broken up um, yeah that's just me right and the last question that we have um, what can we expect from your channel all right so uh, just going back to the earlier question um, that I am a creative. So hopefully I am going to be posting things that are creative, not just to me, but then to other people as well. So you can expect um, a lot of uh, different kind of things. You know, I want to do mini series. I want to do short films. I want to do, uh, I'm thinking of doing vlogs. I might, I might not. I don't know. I'm in two minds about that. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of things along those kind of lines, a lot of the more creative things, a lot of the more abstract things, you know, something just to take your mind off of things if you're stressed, if whatever, um, and you just want like a quick thing that you can watch to be entertained. Um, that's the kind of content that I want to produce. Uh, right. So down the line, we, we are in talks, me and Milady, about having a couple's channel. 
I don't know. That is something that uh, a lot of people seem to like. So if you guys would be interested in seeing something like that from us, a couple's channel, please do comment. Um, you know, just spread the word. Let's see if, if we get enough uh, traction on it, who knows, we, we might start it in the near future. Uh, but until then, uh, it's something that we are heavily contemplating and uh, you can also check out her channel. Um, I'll put the link in below and also do please follow me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram already, it is at Justin Cooks. I'll put the, the, the handle on the description. I uh, also do have Twitter. I'm not that big on Twitter, but um, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter as well. And uh, thank you again for, for watching. Please do subscribe. Subscribing is free, guys. Subscribing is free. It's just click of a button. Done. Right. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, I will be shooting my first segment very soon. And uh, yeah, hope you guys love that. Thank you very much.